Vancouver Island, a natural choice for travelers seeking incredible nature, tranquil spaces, vibrant urban centers, unique adventures, authentic cultural experiences, and world-class cuisine. This is the core message Tourism Vancouver Island successfully delivers worldwide. What we live and breathe is that we're better off working together as a whole to drive interest and, and, and motivation to choose Vancouver Island as a, as a destination for travelers. Uh, often people consider their, uh, their competitors something that they don't want to work with, when the reality is if they work together then everybody's going to benefit. You know the old story of we're going to grow the pie and everybody will get some of it. And it was this determination to grow the pie that led Tourism Vancouver Island to look for new ways to increase participation by businesses and introduce the unique stakeholder model it offers today. So whether it be with the Chamber of Commerce, their local tourism organization, the regional tourism organization, the hotel association, and they were just full of memberships and, and we felt that uh, it was a barrier to people participating in the programs that we do in, in uh, cooperative marketing. So after spending some time with a task force uh, reviewing the, the pros and cons of our membership model and looking at other uh, best practices to see if there was a different model that we could adopt, we found there wasn't, so we invented the stakeholder model. To bring together businesses and to ensure a strong partnership network, Tourism Vancouver Island works closely with community DMOs. The DMOs in particular work very closely with the stakeholders and Tourism Vancouver Island really relies on us as a DMO to pull our stakeholders together and, and that collaboration and partnership is, is so important and I think it's something Tourism Vancouver Island does very well. As a registered stakeholder, businesses are invited to take part in cooperative marketing campaigns and can choose to be part of whatever suits their business. We have a plethora of different programs ranging from TV advertising campaigns in Alberta that uh, people will buy into and, and share some of the advertising with us uh, to magazine and print and of course uh, recently in the last few years we've really focused an awful lot more on social media and web-based marketing. We have programs that are aligned to that. Uh, we have simple programs that are cost-effective uh, such as brochure distribution where uh, people can get their brochures out to people that have an interest in their type of product at a very, very low rate. And stakeholders also benefit from the efforts made by Tourism Vancouver Island's team to influence those who influence travellers. So for Travel Trade we're doing um, trade shows where we're meeting with travel industry professionals such as Rendezvous Canada, Canada's West Marketplace, National Tour Association and those are nice pre-scheduled appointments with Travel Trade where we can really pitch them and talk to them about the product on Vancouver Island and hopefully influence the itineraries that they're building. Connecting with travel media is also a priority. Um, we're also meeting with travel media and again opportunities to pitch story ideas to them about places that they can come and visit on the Vancouver Island region so that they can go back home them and write stories and influence readers to come and visit the region. It is these activities by Tourism Vancouver Island that allow community DMOs like Tourism Nanaimo to leverage their resources to create higher value for the regions as a whole. We can really pool our resources and have much broader reach. We've had great success with marketing programs in Alberta, for example, with, uh, global, with global television. Our stakeholders are able to buy into those programs at a lower cost and we can turn what might be say a, a $10,000 investment, we can turn that into a 30 or 40 or $50,000 return on that investment. So for us, that return is really significant. By leveraging all resources and channels, even stakeholders in the most remote regions of Vancouver Island are able to reap the benefits. I'm actually amazed how many people find us through travel guides and, and, and other brochures and how busy it can get on the boardwalk. But without all the publications and the word out, I think nobody would find us because we're really well hidden. We're 15 kilometers off the highway and if, if people wouldn't have done their research, there's no way they would find us. And with the establishment of Destination BC, Tourism Vancouver Island can be assured of future resources for programs such as those administered through Industry Services Program. Through my department we hold events, so uh, yearly we hold our annual conference in AGM. This coming year will be our 50th coming up, so that's really exciting. And we also hold Tourism Pro D Day, so that happens once per year in two different locations. And that's just really a professional development day, so it's where um, we have about 50 or 60 stakeholders that will come in together into a community and it's all about networking and sort of 
passing on knowledge, letting them know what Tourism Vancouver Island's up to and kind of what things they can get involved in. I also have access to the to Tourism BC's Tourism Business Essentials program. So those are really great guides that show, you know, how to market in the sports tourism sector or how to work with the travel trade department or online reputation management. Stakeholders are finding events also provide the networking opportunities that lead to valuable partnerships. I find the, the best part is just having the, uh, the advantages of collaborating with other stakeholders um, and also being able to take advantage of some of the, the workshops that have been so helpful, particularly in terms of social media. And, and uh, if you're a little guy like we are, um, you know, you, you need all the advantages that you can get. And collectively, we can create such a bigger um, power in the workplace and the, and the social media um, digital world than we can as an individual. You know? So that, that's, that's the power of belonging to, to TVI. All Tourism Vancouver Island stakeholder programs are designed with the philosophy that stronger tourism communities and businesses are built on stakeholder collaboration. And this collaboration leads to a more competitive destination, which is a benefit to all. And the idea behind it really is to, uh, to have the entire tourism industry engaged with us in marketing this great, uh, great destination, removing the barrier of membership. And, uh, and giving people the opportunity to buy into programs that were of value to their particular business rather than paying a fee for what they may or may not need. And, uh, and it's worked out just fantastic for us. To learn more about Tourism Vancouver Island's programs and services and to inquire about becoming a registered stakeholder, you can visit the corporate website or contact Jody Young.